is Sally. She feels tense and worried because she has a midterm to write tonight. Sally is stressed. This is Nikki. She feels tense and worried for an unidentifiable reason. Nikki has an anxiety disorder called Generalized Anxiety Disorder. Sally goes over her review notes after class. She's unclear about some topics. It's very stressful. Nikki has a break for lunch after class. She still feels anxious. She is unable to eat. Sally writes her midterm and feels relaxed afterwards. She's concerned about some tricky questions that she may have missed, but moves on after a while. Nikki writes her midterm and still feels anxious. She goes over every problem in her head and questions her self-worth. She wonders whether she deserves to be a student at her university. Sally runs into Nikki. She invites Nikki out to a restaurant. Nikki is invited out by Sally. She feels uncomfortable and rejects the invitation because she is worried that it will go poorly. She analyzes everything that she said afterwards. She thinks about how she must be perceived as lesser by all of her peers. Sally is randomly reminded of an embarrassing moment from last year. She feels down momentarily and then laughs it off. Nikki remembers a similar event from her past. She feels overwhelmed and insecure. She ruminates over the memory for days. Sally receives an email about her schedule for final exams that are coming up in several months. She saves the email and moves on. Nikki receives the same email. She has been worried about final exams for over six months now. The email increases her tension and feelings of being overwhelmed. Sally has a muscle cramp from studying for a long time this morning. She goes to the gym and feels better afterwards. Nikki has had muscle tension along with intermittent feelings of nausea, heart palpitations, shortness of breath, and headaches daily for over six months. Exercise doesn't help the feelings go away. Sally sits down to do her homework. She feels overwhelmed initially, but is able to start working. Nikki sits down to do her homework. She feels irritable and unable to concentrate because of her anxiety. She becomes overwhelmed by all of the tasks assigned to her across all areas of her life. She is unable to start. Sally falls asleep after a long day. She's happy to get some rest. Nikki is very tired but unable to sleep. She stays up and goes over her schedule for tomorrow repeatedly, imagining scenarios in which everything could go badly. 